Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. Today, we are going to kick off our Liminal OOB guides, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to break into liminal spaces in the world of Warcraft on Azeroth. Today, you may be very familiar with this first place I'm going to be showing you how to break into, as it was in my original OOB liminal space video. It is Magtheridon's lair in the Hellfire Citadel. We're going to be breaking into the entrance of his raid. Now, how to perform these OOB guides. I recommend a few key items before we get started. If you're wanting to get into liminal spaces, you just want to get the OOB toys and tools that you're going to need to do this. Now, I recommend a few key things. Well, the first thing I recommend is this Vicryl Drinking Horn. This is going to enlarge you, and we're going to need that to basically get past boundaries and walls and uh, break through different buildings. The second thing I recommend is a seesaw or the sandbox storm griffin. You need one of these toys. That's going to be your best thing about breaking out of bounds. And um, if you want to substitute, if you don't have the Vicryl drinking horn, you're still farming it. Uh, in the archaeology profession, I recommend the elixir of giant growth potions. Those are probably the next best option and those will either they will grow you too. You can find them off the auction house. They're really cheap. You can buy them for like a thousand for like a hundred gold. Go pick them up. Easy to do. And that's that's really about it. I mean, obviously you can use the pillows as well to your advantage when you can. But I'm going to be showing you guys how I break into liminal spaces. This is going to be just like any other OOB breakout video. Because we're going to be doing the technique that I use in most of all my videos to get out. Um, and I keep almost falling off the map here. <laughs> so our objective is we want to get behind Magtheridon's lair. We want to get in the portal, right? Without actually touching the portal to go into the raid. We want to get behind it. And the way we're going to do that is, well, as you guys can see, the Hellfire Citadel raid is pretty blocky, like uh, pretty chunky dude over here with his buildings. And uh, but we're going to use that to our advantage because the buildings that Blizzard builds in the newer expansions are a lot more slim, a lot more sleek, a lot more good looking. Right. But back then, the hardware and the graphics and everything was just different for computers and all that. So they built like these. I don't know what you say, like these clunky, <laughs> blocky type buildings. It was just, it was just the early 2000s, right? Like this was back then graphics. Like this was amazing for what it was. But um, we're gonna use that to our advantage. So where I'm currently at right now is I am right below the Shattered Halls entrance above me. You have Hellfire Ramparts. Uh, let's see, Hellfire Ramparts over there. Shattered Halls over here. You got the blood furnace up here. So I'm like in this little, I don't know, creviced area. And the thing that we're going to do is we want to, our objective is to get it behind the portal, right? So the way we're going to do that is we're going to jump up here in the corner, uh, if we can do it. We're going to jump up here in the corner of this uh, doorway. It might take us, oh yeah, we're growth already, oops. We're going to jump up here in the doorway. Uh, if we don't fail it, we might fail it a few times here. It's not easy. All right, once we get up here, we're going to aim our character. That is the secret. We want our character, model, anim whatever, to disappear, right? And that way, we can build our seesaw. So we're going to build a seesaw. And as you can tell, the seesaw landed. Oh, gosh, stupid lunk. <laughs> he always wants to show up in my videos. So we're going to ask him to kindly get off. Sorry, lunk. I know you want to share the seesaw, buddy. Um... Oh gosh, I almost fell off again. What we're going to do is we're going to back out. Now we're going to grow ourselves with the drinking horn. Once we do that, it's going to allow us to jump back on the seesaw. And we're going to be clipping through the building. Now, we want to get down below, right? So, where we want to aim is right over there in that section. Um, we want to get in the middle of the building here. So we're going to... We're going to completely jump out here. And what we're going to aim for is down here below the section here. So we're going to want to get right in below here. Uh, Okay, so we're going to want to jump down. Because it's going to allow us to hopefully get in. And there we go. We successfully got in. So that is how we got behind the portal. 
Woo, first try. All right, that was a little, I was a little nervous there. I didn't think I was actually going to make that. So as you guys can tell, we are buying the portal in Mac Theridan's lair. Isn't that awesome? So that is how I get into portals uh, for OOB. And you guys are able to see these liminal spaces. This is probably one of my favorite things in all of World of Warcraft is getting behind the entrance portals because Blizzard, they honestly do a really, really great job. And uh, they do an awesome job at this. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to be able to get behind these and uh, be able to perform this. So anyways, guys, that is number one. And I will see you on the next one. So stay tuned real quick. I will be right back.